Chapters 6 through 10 of the Book of Genesis from the Young's Literal Translation of the Bible. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Mark Penfold. Chapters 6 through 10 of Genesis from the Young's Literal Translation. Chapter 6 And it cometh to pass that mankind have begun to multiply on the face of the ground, and daughters have been born to them. And sons of God see the daughters of men that they are fair, and they take to themselves women of all whom they have chosen. And Jehovah saith, My spirit doth not strive in man to the age, in their erring they are flesh, and his days have been an hundred and twenty years. The fallen ones were in the earth in those days, and even afterwards, when sons of God came in unto daughters of men, and they have borne to them, they are the heroes who, from of old, are the men of name. And Jehovah seeth that abundant is the wickedness of man in the earth, and every imagination of the thoughts of his heart only evil all the day. And Jehovah repenteth that he hath made man in the earth, and he grieveth himself unto his heart. And Jehovah saith, I wipe away man whom I have prepared from off the face of the ground, from man unto beast, unto creeping thing, and unto fowl of the heavens, for I have repented that I have made them. And Noah found grace in the eyes of Jehovah. These are births of Noah. Noah is a righteous man, perfect he hath been among his generations. With God hath Noah walked habitually. And Noah begetteth three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And the earth is corrupt before God, and the earth is filled with violence. And God seeth the earth, and, lo, it hath been corrupted, for all flesh hath corrupted its way on the earth. And God said to Noah, An end of all flesh hath come before me, for the earth hath been full of violence from their presence. And, lo, I am destroying them with the earth. Make for thyself an ark of gopher wood. Rooms dost thou make with the ark, and thou hast covered it within and without with cypress, and this is that which thou dost with it. Three hundred cubits is the length of the ark, fifty cubits its breadth, and thirty cubits its height. A window dost thou make for the ark, and unto a cubit thou dost restrain it from above, and the opening of the ark thou dost put in its side, lower, second, and third stories dost thou make it. And I, lo, I am bringing in the deluge of waters on the earth to destroy all flesh in which is a living spirit from under the heavens. All that is in the earth doth expire. And I have established my covenant with thee, and thou hast come in unto the ark, thou and thy sons and thy wife and thy sons' wives with thee. And of all that liveth, of all flesh, two of every sort thou dost bring in unto the ark to keep alive with thee. Male and female are they of the fowl after its kind, and of the cattle after their kind, of every creeping thing of the ground after its kind, two of every sort they come in unto thee to keep alive. And thou, take to thyself of all food that is eaten, and thou hast gathered unto thyself, and it hath been to thee and to them for food. And Noah doth according to all that God hath commanded him. So hath he done. Chapter 7 and Jehovah saith to Noah, Come in, thou and all thy house, unto the ark, for thee I have seen righteous before me in this generation. Of all the clean beasts thou dost take to thee seven pairs, a male and its female, and of the beasts which are not clean, two, a male and its female. Also of fowl of the heavens seven pairs, a male and a female, to keep alive seed on the face of all the earth. For after other seven days I am sending rain on the earth forty days and forty nights, and have wiped away all the substance that I have made from off the face of the ground. And Noah doth according to all that Jehovah hath commanded him. And Noah is a son of six hundred years, and the deluge of waters hath been upon the earth. And Noah goeth in, and his sons, and his wife, and his sons' wives with him, unto the ark, from the presence of the waters of the deluge. Of the clean beasts, and of the beasts that are not clean, and of the fowl, and of everything that is creeping upon the ground, two by two they have come in unto Noah, unto the ark, 
a male and a female, as God hath commanded Noah. And it cometh to pass, after the seventh of the days, that waters of the deluge have been on the earth. In the six hundredth year of the life of Noah, in the second month, in the seventeenth day of the month, in this day have been broken up all fountains of the great deep, and the network of the heavens hath been opened, and the shower is on the earth forty days and forty nights. In this selfsame day went in Noah, and Shem, and Ham, and Japheth, sons of Noah, and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his sons with them, unto the ark. They, and every living creature after its kind, and every beast after its kind, and every creeping thing that is creeping on the earth after its kind, and every fowl after its kind, every bird, every wing. And they come in unto Noah, unto the ark, two by two of all the flesh in which is a living spirit. And they that are coming in, male and female of all flesh, have come in as God hath commanded him, and Jehovah doth close it for him. And the deluge is forty days on the earth, and the waters multiply, and lift up the ark, and it is raised up from off the earth. And the waters are mighty, and multiply exceedingly upon the earth, and the ark goeth on the face of the waters. And the waters have been very, very mighty on the earth, and covered are all the high mountains which are under the whole heavens. Fifteen cubits upwards have the waters become mighty, and the mountains are covered. And expire doth all flesh that is moving on the earth, among fowl, and among cattle, and among beasts, and among all the teeming things which are teeming on the earth, and all mankind, all in whose nostrils is breath of a living spirit, of all that is in the dry land, have died. And wiped away is all the substance that is on the face of the ground, from man unto beast, unto creeping thing, and unto fowl of the heavens, yea, they are wiped away from the earth, and only Noah is left, and those who are with him in the ark. And the waters are mighty on the earth, a hundred and fifty days. Chapter 8 And God remembereth Noah and every living thing, and all the cattle which are with him in the ark. And God causeth a wind to pass over the earth, and the waters subside. And closed are the fountains of the deep, and the network of the heavens, and restrained is the shower from the heavens. And turn back do the waters from off the earth, going on and returning. And the waters are lacking at the end of a hundred and fifty days. And the ark resteth in the seventh month, in the seventeenth day of the month, on mountains of Ararat. And the waters have been going and becoming lacking till the tenth month. In the tenth month, on the first of the month, appeared the heads of the mountains. And it cometh to pass, at the end of forty days, that Noah openeth the window of the ark which he made. And he sendeth forth the raven, and it goeth out, going out and turning back till the drying of the waters from off the earth. And he sendeth forth the dove from him, to see whether the waters have been lightened from off the face of the ground. And the dove hath not found rest for the sole of her foot. And she turneth back unto him, unto the ark, for waters are on the face of all the earth. And he putteth out his hand, and taketh her, and bringeth her in unto him, unto the ark. And he stayeth yet other seven days, and addeth to send forth the dove from the ark. And the dove cometh in unto him at eventime, and lo, an olive leaf torn off in her mouth. And Noah knoweth that the waters have been lightened from off the earth. And he stayeth yet other seven days, and sendeth forth the dove, and it added not to turn back unto him any more. And it cometh to pass in the six hundredth and first year, in the first month, in the first of the month, the waters have been dried from off the earth. And Noah turneth aside the covering of the ark, and looketh, and lo, the face of the ground hath been dried. And in the second month, in the seven and twentieth day of the month, the earth hath become dry. And God speaketh unto Noah, saying, Go out from the ark, thou, and thy wife, and thy sons, and thy sons' wives with thee, every living thing that is with thee of all flesh, among fowl, and among cattle, and among every creeping thing which is creeping on the earth, bring out with thee. And they have teemed in the earth, and been fruitful, and have multiplied on the earth. And Noah goeth out, and his sons, and his wife, and his sons' wives with him, every beast, every creeping thing and every fowl, 
every creeping thing on the earth, after their families, have gone out from the ark. And Noah buildeth an altar to Jehovah, and taketh of every clean beast, and of every clean fowl, and causeth burnt offerings to ascend on the altar. And Jehovah smelleth the sweet fragrance. And Jehovah saith unto his heart, I continue not to disesteem any more the ground because of man, though the imagination of the heart of man is evil from his youth, and I continue not to smite any more all living as I have done, during all days of the earth, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night, do not cease. Chapter 9 and God blesseth Noah and his sons, and saith to them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the earth, and your fear and your dread is on every beast of the earth, and on every fowl of the heavens, on all that creepeth on the ground, and on all fishes of the sea, into your hand they have been given. Every creeping thing that is alive, to you it is for food, as the green herb I have given to you the whole, only flesh in its life, its blood ye do not eat, and only your blood for your lives do I require, from the hand of every living thing I require it, and from the hand of man, from the hand of every man's brother I require the life of man, whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man is his blood shed, for in the image of God hath he made man. And ye, be fruitful and multiply, teem in the earth and multiply in it, and God speaketh unto Noah, and unto his sons with him, saying, And I, lo, I am establishing my covenant with you, and with your seed after you, and with every living creature which is with you, among fowl, among cattle, and among every beast of the earth with you, from all who are going out of the ark, to every beast of the earth. And I have established my covenant with you, and all flesh is not any more cut off by waters of a deluge, and there is not any more a deluge to destroy the earth. And God saith, This is a token of the covenant which I am giving between me and you, and every living creature that is with you, to generations age during. My bow I have given in the cloud, and it hath been for a token of a covenant between me and the earth and it hath come to pass, in my sending a cloud over the earth, that the bow hath been seen in the cloud, and I have remembered my covenant, which is between me and you, and every living creature among all flesh, and the waters become no more a deluge to destroy all flesh, and the bow hath been in the cloud, and I have seen it, to remember the covenant age during between God and every living creature among all flesh, which is on the earth. And God saith unto Noah, This is a token of the covenant, which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah, who are going out of the ark, are Shem, and Ham, and Japheth, and Ham is father of Canaan. These three are sons of Noah, and from these hath all the earth been overspread. And Noah remaineth a man of the ground, and planteth a vineyard and drinketh of the wine, and is drunken, and uncovereth himself in the midst of the tent. And Ham, father of Canaan, seeth the nakedness of his father, and declareth to his two brethren without. And Shem taketh, Japheth also, the garment, and they place on the shoulder of them both, and go backward, and cover the nakedness of their father, and their faces are backward, and their father's nakedness they have not seen. And Noah awaketh from his wine, and knoweth that which his young son hath done to him, and saith, Cursed is Canaan, servant of servants he is to his brethren. And he saith, Blessed of Jehovah my God is Shem, and Canaan is servant to him. God doth give beauty to Japheth, and he dwelleth in tents of Shem, and Canaan is servant to him. And Noah liveth after the deluge three hundred and fifty years, and all the days of Noah are nine hundred and fifty years, and he dieth. Chapter 10 And these are births of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and born to them are sons after the deluge. Sons of Japheth are Gomer, and Magog, and Medai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshech, and Tyras. And sons of Gomer are Ashkenaz, 
and Raithaf, and Togarma. And sons of Javan are Elisha, and Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. By these have the isles of the nations been parted in their lands, each by his tongue, by their families, in their nations. And sons of Ham are Cush, and Mitzrayim, and Phut, and Canaan. And sons of Cush are Seba, and Havilah, and Sabta, and Raama and Sabteca. And sons of Raama are Sheba, and Dedan. And Cush hath begotten Nimrod. He hath begun to be a hero in the land. He hath been a hero in hunting before Jehovah. Therefore it is said, As Nimrod the hero in hunting before Jehovah. And the first part of his kingdom is Babel, and Erech, and Akkad, and Kalna, in the land of Shinar. From that land he hath gone out to Ashur, and buildeth Nineveh, even the broad places of the city, and Kalah, and Resen, between Nineveh and Kalah. It is the great city. And Mitzrayim hath begotten the Ludim, and the Anamim, and the Lehabim, and the Naphtuhim, and the Pathrusim, and the Kasluhim, whence have come out Philistim, and the Kaphtarim. And Canaan hath begotten Sidon his firstborn, and Heth, and the Jebusite, and the Amorite, and the Girgashite, and the Hivite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Arvadite, and the Zemurite, and the Hamathite. And afterwards have the families of the Canaanite been scattered. And the border of the Canaanite is from Sidon, in thy coming towards Gerar, unto Gaza, in thy coming towards Sodom, and Gomorrah, and Adma, and Zeboim, unto Lasha. These are sons of Ham, by their families, by their tongues, in their lands, in their nations. As to Shem, father of all sons of Eber, brother of Japheth the elder, he hath also begotten, sons of Shem are Elam, and Ashur, and Arphaxad, and Lud, and Aram, and sons of Aram are Uz, and Hol, and Gether, and Mash. And Arphaxad hath begotten Salah, and Salah hath begotten Eber. And to Eber have two sons been born. The name of the one is Peleg, for in his days hath the earth been divided, and his brother's name is Joktan. And Joktan hath begotten Almodad, and Sheleth, and Hazar Maveth, and Jera, and Hadoram, and Uzal, and Dikla, and Obal, and Abimael, and Sheba, and Ophir, and Havilah, and Jobab. All these are sons of Joktan. And their dwelling is from Mesha, in thy coming towards Sephar, a mount of the east. These are sons of Shem, by their families, by their tongues, in their lands, by their nations. These are families of the sons of Noah, by their births, in their nations, and by these have the nations been parted in the earth after the deluge. The End of Chapters 6 through 10 of the Book of Genesis from the Young's Literal Translation. Recording by Mark Penfold.